If you guys are like us and you're tired of burning your throat every time you take a hit, coughing attacks from all these crappy bongs, or if you just think that you deserve better than all the other glass companies, oh, you yeah. have to try an ice cold pipe, bubbler, or bong from Freeze Pipe. Freeze Pipe makes their own unique glass pieces that's cool smoke by over 300 degrees. You pop it right into the freezer, take it out, and you're going to take the biggest rip of your life without dying. Best of all, it's not even crazy expensive. You don't have to break the bank to buy one. I know. We love them. We're so impressed with the company and the quality of the products. Freeze Pipe makes it all. Literally. Pipes, bongs, bubblers, dab rings, everything. So go to thefreezepipe.com and use code 2G1B for 10% off your next order. Again, that's thefreezepipe.com using code 2G1B for 10% off your next order. We love you. We wouldn't steer you down the wrong road. This for sure is the right one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey girl, you trying to hit this? Oh, you know exactly what I need. Okay. You know what I realized? <laughs> Go ahead. No. Uh, oh. Uh, I just realized uh, I have a migraine. Okay. <laughs> you know what I realized? Kids who sold candy bars like in middle school and elementary school, they either turned out to be drug dealers. Or entrepreneurs and salespeople. You know, so we Absolutely. were teaching our kids prime skills. That they I became needed. both a drug dealer and a. I respect that. An entrepreneur. Yeah, I've dabbled in. You can in be the, both. In, you know, drugs, gifting, <laughs> my ass. legal substances such as Dunkin' Donuts coffees and stuff. You know, with a side of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like when I go through the drive-through. Yeah, the, all, everything we say is a lie, and we are mentally unstable. I want to repeat that. Let's not that. say that. Let's not say that because we are totally stable. We do not want to kill ourselves in case somebody tries to kill us, and then say we are suicidal. We yeah, are not but if somebody bad. tries to sue us, insanity. <laughs> I'm not good up here whatsoever. Oh my god! All How right. are you doing, Tyrese? I can't complain. I'm high as shit. You're doing good mentally. And, yes. You don't uh, want to kill yourself. I mean, no, well, not right now. Okay, that's yeah. Good. You know, do a check-in on your friends, even the strong ones, even the funny ones. That's enough seriousness for this episode. Fucking, I'm... What's so funny? Oh, got it. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. We got it. <laughs> David, stop. You look like you're coming. <laughs> He's like jerking off in the corner. Oh, fucking wow. Little Louis C.K. over here. Oh, I remember that guy. He got canceled. <laughs> I don't know who that is. He's, the, uh, he's a comedian. ginger comedian, dude. Oh. <laughs> That's how you recognize him. He's actually a great comedian. And he jerked off in front of someone. There was like two other girls or something, comedians, like, and they were all in a, a hotel after a show or some shit. And he's like, do you guys care if I <laughs> jerk off right now? Yeah. And then they didn't really say anything. So he just started jerking off and then he got canceled for it. He got canceled for that? Yeah. I feel like that's respectful. Like asking, like, hey, <laughs> yeah. can I jerk off? It's like, weird. I'm not just whipping it out, like going to town in the corner of your room. No, but I'm but like, hey, is this cool? <laughs> and they, I think they said yeah. And so then they came back and they were like, that was weird and made me uncomfortable. Oh. But you could just say no. Just but say absolutely, no. Absolutely. Just say, just say no, thank you. The, ba the bathroom is right over there, sir. <laughs> First of all, if I was a comedian and another comedian asked me if he could jerk off in front of me. <laughs> There would be 20 minutes of roasting. Like there'd right. be, there would be, I would be like, are you kidding me? I'd be like, yeah, rip, whip out your shrimp dick. Let's see it. <laughs> Come on. I want to see it. It's like see a helicopter. Around, bitch. Like I'd be like joking around. But if he was like, hey, can I, do you care if I take my penis out right now? <laughs> then like, yeah, you know, that's a little weird. I would feel uncomfortable I would just, too. I would say, yeah, I do care and I need you to leave. You know what? I just, I don't think it's fair because guys can just whip their dick out and like unknowingly like freak somebody out. Girls, we have to like, you know, get in under the hood. We got to whip out a vibrator. There's a whole process to <laughs> masturbate. You're like, like, do you want me to flip open my clitoral hood so you can see all of the the goobly gobbly I got I'll going spread on? i my there. labia for you. <laughs> That's a process. Like, no, oh, uh, guys can just whip it out. We can't. What am I going to whip out? My my fupa? Like, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Drinking too many beers. Oh I got a good old God. beer gut over here. You know, whipping out the fupa, somebody could pay you for that. So don't do it for free. Right. It's a power move. Yeah. I got, I got, I got paid 
two hundred dollars. Oh my god, two hundred fifty bucks for a twenty minute video, me drinking, rubbing my belly, and being like, "Do you like when I? Do you like when I rub my belly?" And like, I look pregnant. <laughs> if I look like more full. You know, and I'm like, I ate so much today. He's like, yeah, you this did. This burrito's oh my God. making me really oh, yeah. gassy. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> fart on this dick. <laughs> have you ever farted on a dick? I have. Really? It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> was it in your? Was it? Wait. Was it in your vagina and then you farted? Yeah. Oh, I feel like I just <laughs> like, oh, like yeah. came out the back and I was like, fuck. That was a queef, but it didn't queef. <laughs> And then he thought, so it was a queef. It wasn't a fart. Yeah, but it rolled but, up up your butthole. Yeah. Oh. So was that like technically a fart? I thought you farted and then you said it was a queef after the cover. That, that would be too. funny. Oh, that would be funny. Okay. I should do I, that next I time. I think that's what I did. You I farted. was like, sorry, I just queefed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you, anytime that happens and it makes noise, I'm like, my vagina likes you. She's talking back. Because <laughs> yeah. then you're like, oh, your dick's Holy so fuck. big. You just fucked me and now I'm queefy like he could take that as a compliment but if it's a fart he's like oh you just stink do you like queefs <laughs> I, yeah <laughs> I don't I don't know That's, it's just kind of a thing I'm like oh that happened like cool we're oh, here you don't that. really give a fuck no, that not caviar really. blunt uh, if it was farting though I'm not gonna lie I think I'd probably rather you say it was a queef than <laughs> tell me it was a fart what if you could smell it and you were like bitch that was a fart I'm just not gonna believe it. I'm be like, absolutely not. I'm not. I'm not smelling that right now. There's no way. Like girls can't fart. I mean, they can. I just don't. I don't need to know about it. Would, would you stay our friend if, like, we were traveling and we were in a hotel and so we had, we, for some reason we had to all share a bed, and then and you were in the middle, and then Emily and I said one, two, three, and then we both farted in Dutch oven to the bed and held you under. Would you stay our friend? Yeah, oh, for sure. But just know I'm definitely making a video about that. <laughs> you're, you're getting the shit exposed. Two girls, that. one blunt, Dutch oven, <laughs> two tires. white influencers kidnapped. Wow. Black man <laughs> and <laughs> fart on him <laughs> <laughs> and sexually assaulted him. They kept calling me boy the whole time. It was fucked up. The sheets were cotton. Like, it was not a good, it was not a good situation. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> no, you're a man. He's an adult man. We don't use. It's right. so interesting that like the word boy, it's so innocent. And at the same time, it's not. Yeah. And it's the same word. It's all about delivery. Yeah. Like it really is. Delivery is important. Truth. Like DiGiorno. We are sponsored by DiGiorno. <laughs> Emily and I, because Emily and I, we watched um, the Elijah Wood, not Elijah Wood, fucking, who's just do it. What, who am I talking about? Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> no, their names, I always mix those two up for some reason. <laughs> he did the uh, movie that basically portrays his dad and his, him as a kid, like coming up and how abusive his dad was and stuff. We did? Yeah. Oh, fuck. We man. watched it. And then that's where we got like, like, you better do the dishes, boy. Like, you oh, know what shit. I mean? Because his dad like was like an alcoholic and like abused him and was just like really rude. And he'd always call him, refer to him as boy. Yeah. And it like, for me, that reminded me of my mom so much. So we used to make fun of like my mom doing like a mom voice, like crazy Kelly's voice. <laughs> so like, it was almost like coming back to home. So I was like, I was saying that Emily would say it all around each other. And then my boyfriend's like, yo, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, they used to call slaves boys. <laughs> and I immediately, cause I like said it and I think I might've said it to him. Yeah. Like not realizing. And I was like, oh shit. Like. And now I don't say that anymore. Like, we don't do that. And we don't make that voice or that joke because he was just like, he just said it's so like straight face. And I was like, I'm sorry, babe. Noted. It wasn't. Noted. It really wasn't that. There's this long explanation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not racist. But I understand I could say something that was, you know, not tasteful. And now I'm educated on why. I've said oh, yeah. so much untasteful shit. Yeah, it's like all I do pretty much. <laughs> not gonna lie but I am black I don't know if that makes it okay or not I've been thinking about that <laughs> like yeah we don't have to get into that right no, now let's get but into like, it okay we can get into it so I was actually I don't want to hear you talk <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bring you on to hear you speak so right. no I know 
Well, I was just raised by white people. Like, I got adopted yeah. when I was five months old, and I was raised, like, I was the only white person in my school, like, super Wait, white. you're the only white person in your school? Only black person. See? I don't even <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know myself anymore. That's the thing. I wake up every morning, I look at my palms, and I say, holy fuck, and then, okay, cool. <laughs> like, it's it's a problematic thing. But no, like, I don't know, like, is it, oh cool for, is it cool for me to make black jokes as, like, a white man in a black person's body? Like, that's what I don't know. You like, are a black I man. I am a Greg. You're like old Greg? Like I am a Greg a inside. Greg. Yeah, trapped oh, in like a Greg. I don't think so. I don't think I so. Feel Greg, like I am... We know you and we know your personality and there's no one with the fucking Greg who has like the <laughs> fucking oomph that you do. No. That's true. Okay. You are Tyrese I in all of that. your glory and Fuck wonderfulness. Yeah. Also, if we need to beat your parents' ass for not for only introducing you to white people, we will. Yeah, Fine, well we will deal. beat their ass. We can yeah. I'm I'm about that. All right, bet. <laughs> We're we're going. Did like I did like that. So my mom would say a lot of like ignorant shit, right? Like I didn't know that the term peanut gallery was like not a good term. Yeah, or like cakewalk. Yeah. Like, yeah, like things that you hear literally. Like the the cakewalk is something you would do at like a Thanksgiving like <laughs> fall school event where there's like games and like it's outside. And there's literally cakes and there's w- cakes. Yeah, like that was something that I did as a child, and you don't realize mm-hmm. that like you grow up and you're like that's fucked up. But my mom always did like introduce me to like a diverse group of people. She was always like respect everyone. Yeah. But then she would say some ignorant shit. <laughs> like she would, you know what I mean? So then it's like fuck. Oh god. <laughs> I had to learn all I, that on my own. Yeah. No, my mom is like the opposite. She's like just outlandishly like. Like just racist. Oh goodness. Yeah, no offense. I mean, whatever you know. So the thing is, like, she's the type of person that will go to a Walmart, and if there's people outside speaking Spanish, she'll be like, "If you're going to be here, you need to learn our language." Uh-huh. Like Wait, that. The mom like that, that adopted you? Yeah, yeah, the one that raised me. But Damn. she, but like, we adopted. Like my younger brother is Latin American. Like he's Latino. So she's like, no, no, no it's fine, because like <laughs> my son's Latino. And then she does the same thing with. I think it's a conspiracy. Where she might have adopted us just to make it seem like she's not racist. She's not racist. Right. I think it's like a whole deep. Do you guys have a good relationship? Yeah. I mean, we talk. Like, if I call her, she'll, like, pick up and be like, you on drugs? And I'll be like, nah, mom, I'm cool. But, like, (laughs) nah, we're cool. She's just, like, she doesn't fuck with my lifestyle because I was raised, like, super conservative Christian. And she's like, weed is, like, a drug and all this stuff. And she's like, partying is... For Satan and I'm like all right well, yeah but like you yeah. are this brings me back to like the whole point the kids who sold fucking candy bars at school either became like drug dealers or entrepreneurs like you're not you're not dabbling in the weed business in no. a legal not smart way that you can like fuck yourself over you're building fucking a legacy and like something stable that, like a foundation in cannabis with it being legalized like you're in more in and more states like you're oh, doing sure. all of that entrepreneurial shit like you'll have an empire so it's like <laughs> yeah you might not like smoking weed but it's like yo I'm building I'm doing X, Y, and Z to try to like build this for myself and that's yeah. that says a lot you know it's more for than sure. just weed absolutely it's like illogical like you could explain all that to her and even and then she'll like counter with like well I don't have a problem with weed because like doctors prescribe it and like it's a it's like it helps people and I'm like yeah that's like what I do and she's like no it's not so it's just you that she's it's against just, smoking yeah, weed yeah absolutely See, <laughs> it's not this is not it's not she's that like, I it's live a bad life it's that yeah she is it's like it's cause he's black he's a drug it's cause he's black yeah absolutely that's fucked up that's- yeah. but yeah but I think our generation is like struggling with that, right? Because we grew up in in their age, right? Where all of this was like the norm right? or not questioned. And like we grew up in it not realizing the history behind some stuff. But then as we got older, we're like, we're learning about everything. We're seeing the world from like a completely new lens, like a new perspective. Yeah. And it's like having to relearn how to walk. Like you're like learning, relearning the world and you have to com- change everything the way that you've seen yeah, it as you absolutely. learn and so it's like dude but I feel I hope hopefully like our kids generation like because we'll do that work and hopefully everyone does that work on mm-hmm. their own because like as a collective that's what needs to happen I need to pass the button hold on but I feel like we're moving in the right direction you can have all these old people stupid old white men making all these laws and taking us 10 years back but you know yeah. what my question is? <coughs> so we're like so progressive now, like weed is, you know, slowly becoming destigmatized. Let's free all people who are, you know, in jail because of drug related, like weed shit. 
Anyways, what was I saying? We're so high, guys. <laughs> Wait, can we just say this caviar weed? Shout out. It smacks. This, is not, it this, really does. this isn't an ad. LA Weekly hooked us up uh, with a fucking a bunch of weed boxes, and they gave us this caviar gold. I think it's iced teas, right? Whoa, look, it's like oil coming out. Yeah, dude. I'm fucked up. It was coated. We'll, sh- we'll show a video. The weed is I dope. remembered what I was saying. Go, girl. Because you were talking about the future when you said boom. I was talking about the future. We're so progressive now, like cannabis. Yay. Prostitution should be legal, right? Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to be like our kids like fight with us? Where is it going to be like... Mom, I want to fuck this robot. We're going to have half <laughs> robot babies. Like, what is our kid's issue going to be with us? I That's still think... I don't know. I wonder, because I feel like the generations, as they're getting younger, while we are, like, learning so much about mental health, <laughs> like, social issues, things are just... We know more about them because of the power of social media, right? That was going to be a great thought, and then I went brain dead. I've been there. Because I heard you coughing and I was like, damn, she's coughing I was trying a to lot. get away from your noise so I didn't talk over you. What was I saying? I was coughing too hard. <laughs> Dude, this weed. This weed is fire. I don't think I have eyeballs right now. I think they're my eyes are closed. Are my eyes open? Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> wow. We have been like, we got so deep and so like. <laughs> and I hope I don't know if we sound like idiots or we're we like sound we're, fine. we're no, you know you sound good. we're yeah we're talking our thoughts just because we're roasted and Bounce. toasted doesn't mean we can't be smart toast Facts. um Facts. speak for yourself <laughs> speak for yourself here's the thing though about okay. social media that I've been thinking about we were right talking about social media we're, I mean like generations and old white men and like society and all that shit yeah but like my thing about that is. Like, this is, like, the biggest shift, right, that we've had societally in, like, a long time with social yeah. media and all that. So, like, we're, this is the first, like, this is why we don't fuck with, with, uh... We got it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why, so this is why we don't this fuck. Is why, this Dude, is it's wh- lit so much. How do we put it out? It's just gonna, it's <laughs> just on, gonna keep on. going. Hold on, hold on. Uh, nice. There we go. Good thinking. Bang. Stoners are ingenious. Right that is how it's done. You got to stop the airflow. I stop, can't believe that fit like drop, pretty perfectly. Yeah, that was right like, back into that. Can't beat that. God bless. Yo, dude. Cheers to dude, that, bro. That weed. <laughs> so Do you like fire. smoke oh weed? You know, I'm in Cali, bro. It was gas. It was that shit was gas. from. Yeah, it was fire. What am I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, dude. you were talking about social media? Yeah. Yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> Get it on. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, We've been smoking Are you all actually day. high? I am. I can never tell when Look you're at high. Look, he's smiley. Yeah, I do. That's, he's yeah. smiley and he I'm never giggly. smiles. That's, so, like, that's, that's how you real. know I know he's you high. Know, and big. you're blushing. I am. Really? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we're like, just what laughing. Color is it? It's because it no, like you're, purple-y? like, happy. It's like a light It's orangey. I love it. It, but like also peachy. Yeah, okay. it's pretty. It. Peachy, peachy purpley. Deal. Yeah. I can get behind that. I like that. Peachy. Peachy. I'm just like a red splotch. I look like a tomato when I start <laughs> blushing. I'm at this point like, where I just want to like put my face against this like mic. Do you see my makeup some on ASMR. It? Okay, what about social well, media? ASMR. Yeah, dude, I saw all your makeup all over that and I was like, yeah, we, gotta, <laughs> we gotta wipe those off. Huh? How do you clean mics? Google. I don't actually know. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah. Okay. Social media. Social media. <laughs> we do that. We have those accounts. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is a great combo. <laughs> now, nah, okay, okay. So my thing, right, with like the with the why we don't fuck with old people, right? This is the first time I think ever in society that like we as a generation are living with stuff that like the generations before us don't understand. So like nobody before our generation was born with phones, was born with like all these things, right? So like mm-hmm. they can't possibly understand. So the way that they were raised doesn't make sense for us anymore because we have all these things, which is why in school they were like, you need to learn this equation. And I'm like, why? Because Siri knows it and she's on my wrist or she's in my pocket. So why do I yeah. need to waste brain space <laughs> to remember that shit when I can just Google it at any point? And then they would be like, oh, well, EMPs. No, like that's not going to happen. What's like, an EMP? It's a, it like wipes out all the 
like electricity, right? Yeah, I like do electronics. Think about that. Yeah, I mean, I'd be fucked. <clears throat> yeah, same. But I'm I'm okay with being fucked, and I think our generation Me is too. okay with like diving into the internet with the possibility that like we'll all be useless as fuck if we ever don't have it. <laughs> And like the generations before us are not. We'll just are not die cool out. Well, yeah. The human race will die we'll out because yeah. we're all dumb as fuck without technology. <clears throat> yep. For sure. That's the downside of it. That is the problem. So it's oh. like we're going to get so good that we're going to end up killing ourselves off because we've just made stupid, mutated babies. You know, guys, True. we talk about the apocalypse every time we're on a podcast together. So I feel like the apocalypse might happen. It might just, yeah. Maybe we should we're take all some. Psychic. What if we vlogged us taking, taking survival? Shrooms. Cur- oh, shrooms! T- <laughs> <laughs> Very different. Two directions different directions. With that. Yeah, two both great options. Phenomenal ideas. Yeah. If I had to choose, I would go for the shrooms for sure. <laughs> I would just like drugs, but like just for like safety reasons, should we maybe take our survival course? I think that about that. Cool. Wait, we talked about this too. How I. Went crazy during COVID, and I bought all the survival equipment <laughs> and like maps of the country in the area that we were in in case we ever had smart. to drive. Yeah, I was like, we need gas canisters, we need all of this shit. I have I respect like, it. yeah, I have a bunch of stuff in my car that like I can take the window out, I can cut my seatbelt. Oh yeah, like I have all of that shit. Okay. Not as much as I want, and I, I know. my like, I want a knife. I'm like a hypochondriac, right? But like for. Conspiracies and like the end of the world and like that kind of stuff that I get like oh no what's gonna happen if like I don't know bird people come and eat us alive <laughs> not the bird people That's what, yeah I'm not prepared for that one I'm absolutely not prepared for big ass birds <laughs> swooping in out of there ha- there has to be bird people it was on Rick and Morty and that show is science well I'm just <laughs> I'm just scared that. for the bird people like I don't want to die honestly like. I wouldn't even prepare. Like if bird people, if bird people are the end, what, what the fuck am I gonna do? Nothing. Exactly. Mate with a bird person. With it. With yeah, same. <laughs> totally. What if it was like a super hot bird person? In a, oh. in a second. Wait. What portions of them are bird? I don't care actually. No. <laughs> it's like a I'm bird beacon face, and it just goes, and it has like a pussy. You're like perfect. <laughs> okay. Can we can't talk. That. Where? Okay. So if centaurs have human penises. Where is the penis? Is it where a normal horses would be, or is it oh, out the front? Out the front. That wow. Like Wait. on his torso, as a human man's would be. You know what and I'm saying? And what like, has right? a horses? Like It'll under his legs, in the his back, back legs, with the hind legs. And it just hangs in between the hind legs. Yeah, it doesn't even go forward. Well, at no, all. It, like it, I've definitely seen a, like a, an in. erect horse cock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those shits are biggest. They're fuck. huge Facts. and terrifying. Humans take those did, like up there. Did people in middle school show you horse porn? Yes, yeah, I got showed horse porn. Yeah. I got showed horse porn too, and that shit was traumatizing. Was How did they up. go in? It made me scared uh, of sex. No, let's not think about this. I think we have to move <laughs> on from the lot. horse porn. Horse porn is birth control. Well, I still have fuck. You still what? What? I said I still have fuck. <laughs> I think I touched the weed because now my eyeballs are itchy. Wait, stop touching your eyeballs. Oh, I hate that. Uh, Would you have your eye drops? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and why am I allergic to weed on a weed podcast? <clears throat> with all the free weed we just got. That's, that's a that's a bad yeah. hit, dog. Thank you, LA mm. Weekly. <laughs> okay. Wow. Back my to- cheeks hurt. My back aches. I brought two times. My hips shaking. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> my, I was just jamming whatever you guys were doing. <laughs> I'm just the hype man. He's just like, yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. yeah. Get it. Yes. Oh, get it, Emily. I can't. Sing for us. I can't. Wow. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we talk about something else? Oh, I love, I, Why is David? <laughs> I hate him. Okay, I can't look at him. Oh, All right, so we saw. On. Okay, we went to uh, Supernova in LA. We saw Bill Burr. It was dope. We saw Donnell Rawlings. What did you think of the show, guys? It was so great. I got so drunk, and <laughs> as I got progressively more drunk, it got funnier and funnier. <laughs> and. I just had the greatest time ever. <laughs> like, it was, like, a fun thing. Like, I'm just going to do that now. Like, I'm just going to text you and be like, oh, I'm at Supernova. Yeah. That's going to be a thing. That's cute. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, Hell I love yeah. it. I didn't know that things like it's that existed. It's a good vibe. Really? Yeah. 
Like, oh my god! Sick. I love comedy shows. It, I it love comedy great. shows. It's a cool vibe. That area, Supernova itself, is super cool. You like there's galaxy stuff, especially if you're like us and we go high. Yeah, there's like galaxy shit in the wall, and then you're drunk. Whatever they put in those drinks. Those were strongest <laughs> drinks. I'm yeah. glad I didn't drink. I'd be hungover oh, yeah. today. I was talking and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to like talk to people. And then I could just hear myself starting to slur my words. Yeah. And I'm like, am I slurring my words? Like, am I, I'm losing my motor skills. Am I drunk? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, dude, I had like, I thought I had three drinks, but you know, now that I'm thinking of it, a couple of people were like, do you want a drink? And I might've just been like, yeah. <laughs> you were like, you came I'm standing over. two feet from Bill Burr and I'm nervous. Yeah. Right. Nah, I feel that. But you were like, I'm going to go talk to people. And I was I was just sitting there. I was like slurring my thoughts. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not going to get up. I was like, it was, it was, but it was a great time. I appreciate y'all for having me. It was dope. Yeah, we're doing round two tonight. There's Absolutely. Theo Vaughn oh, and Trevor out? Wallace. Oh, this is going to be fun because I'm actually going to be awake this time. Yeah, Emily oh, yeah. passed out in the car. I was, we so talked about this on drunk. Teron's episode, I think. Really? A little bit. Yeah. Well, I was dead. Yeah, <laughs> guys, this is all one week for us. This is yeah. all happening in the span of one week. It's crazy. And we're we have brains. We're doing more tomorrow. <laughs> it's gonna un- amazing. It's gonna it's be so great. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> Italiano. It's um, me. I do have this Dunkin' Donuts coffee that tastes Wait. like absolute asshole. <laughs> That's what you get with donkeys. Like you run the risk. It's either really fucking good or it's shit. Facts. Oh, and it's shit. Ch- it's, ch- it's shit. Wait, um, oh, we, no. we have the, like, the get high cards. Yeah, yeah, Should yeah. Should we use those? As Fuck a- yeah. In our Trader Joe's bag. <laughs> <laughs> In Tyrese's <laughs> office. <laughs> He's jerking off. He just jerked off in her face. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just said, fuck you, bitch, as he left the room. <laughs> the love is real He's here. such a little fucking shit. <clears throat> the love is real. Dude, he drives me crazy. Insane. Your eyes, whoa, I'm definitely high. I'm hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> You're, <laughs> what? You just like glitched. <laughs> I, I do glitch. <laughs> like, no, your pixels. <laughs> My pixels? I am not an <laughs> fucking NPG a- or NPC? something. NPC? What if we're all NPCs? <laughs> NPC. Oh, Did God. you watch that, that new Ryan Reynolds movie? Mm-mm. It was fucking good. He was free guy. Free guy. Mm-hmm. It was really good. It was so good. I have to watch. You it. have to watch okay, that. I will get high as fuck too before. Absolutely. Yeah, and keep just getting high as fuck. Wait, you want to do level this, like this is a sex game. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's a sex. I don't know what that is. But. No, it's not. No, this is. We're not really strangers. And you want to ask? Don't ask. We're not really strangers. Level three reflection. Oh right. no, not today. Wow. No reflection. Right. Where's the high game? I don't know. Did you bring it? Thought I did. I guess I picked the... No, this was in my suitcase. And I don't know what I did. All right, David. (laughs) Do you want to go on an adventure? (laughs) Well, we can do this. What are these? Yeah. Okay. I just want to see it. (laughs) (laughs) Tell me what you love about me. (laughs) (laughs) Write down the top three things you're most grateful for in your partner. 30 seconds. Compare. We're not partners, though. Okay, next. Oh, wow. In one word, how would you describe our conversation? <laughs> this one we just had. Hi. <laughs> Fair enough, Jamie. <laughs> one word. Draw one of your favorite memories from our relationship. Oh, 30 seconds. Fuck no. Sounds gay. <clears> that <throat> These are relationships. Wait, um, close your eyes. What color is my shirt? <laughs> Black. Black. That's fucking racist. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, what's this? <gasps> What has this conversation taught you about yourself? <laughs> that I hallucinate when I'm high enough. <laughs> All right. Well, that was what else? That was dandy. Tyrese, what are you working on? What are you building? In life? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking about starting a charity. Okay. Really? What for? <clears throat> I don't know. Dads, guys, guys in general, not like, guys, parents, but oh, like parents? just solo parents. Aww. Solo parents that like want to do it though, but can't because they just like got fucked over by the world or like didn't have good enough lawyers or like whatever the fuck but like want to actively be a parent I'm gonna call it the Milkman Foundation because like your dad goes out for the milk doesn't bring it back haha joke that's so cute yeah so but yeah that's that's the thing I like that thank you did your dad leave for milk (laughs) yeah don't know my dad no clue really not a clue yeah I'm just another 
statistic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my dad either. It's okay. Fuck yeah. Well, I, I mean, it's not a fuck yeah. <laughs> we yeah. can relate though. Yeah. We could, have the, we could have the same dad. You could. Like my mom just might be black as fuck <laughs> and then your dad could be not. Our dad could, and then we could be I think siblings. he's a, You guys are brothers and sisters. I think so. Maybe. You you look alike. I have a black cousin. That's, that <laughs> solves it so right there. <laughs> now we know. There's no question. Uh, now whenever somebody's like, oh, Jamie's racist, is just going to play that sound bite. I you know have a black cousin. <laughs> I think people, yeah. Yeah, no, my dad actually lived like 10 minutes from me at some point. My biological dad. Oh. Not the one I call my dad. My biological dad. And he did not want to meet me. At least that's what my mom told me when oh. she's... She but I don't never told him I, about you. Exactly. No, she, oh, no he knew about me because oh. she left after. Because oh. then that's when my, my dad came in when I was like, I don't know, I think like four or five. Oh. Mm. And then he technically like adopted me. Shout out, Eric. Yeah. But the other one didn't want, and I'm like, you're an idiot, because, you know, Fucking I'm going gonna, gonna to be loaded one day. Yeah. I could have bought you a nice sports car. Nice boat. But you had to be a little bitch, and that's fine. That's n- fine, because we don't, because now we're hustlers. We don't need that bitch. Facts. But that's dope. That's super dope that Thank you want to do that, and I think the name's great. Fuck yeah. I think, uh. Milkman. Yeah. That would be, that's super cool. Why'd you just jerk off again? <laughs> he just keeps doing it. That I didn't even see it. It was my peripheral. Like you hit me in the eye with it, and I was like, "Fuck!" And then she said, "He's I was just like, okay, like hitting us was. with cum loads." <laughs> Have you ever been nutted on? No. <laughs> no. Have you ever like came in your face? I mean, <laughs> like by accident, like you were jerking off, and then cum shot up, and then hit you in the eye or something. Never in my life. No. Have you ever opened wine? No, that's uh, definitely happened. But no, no. Have you Have you eaten it? No. <laughs> what would it take for you to drink your own cum? Twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like a whole load for twenty bucks? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just feel like that's I got right. twenty in my purse. I've got, I've got twenty minutes <laughs> Louis, he's right here. Louis, he's Louis, like, is okay? it okay? Jerk off right here. Ask if it's okay, and we'll like hand you money, we'll and then like, we're no. gonna tell everyone you're really weird. Tyrese is a prostitute, guys. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Oh, we're always making money when we're with each other. Last time we sold the chairs that we're sitting on. This time That's... we're selling Tyrese's nut. <laughs> If I don't eat all of it first. But, <laughs> like the good little boy that I am. <laughs> <laughs> nummy, nummy. Oh, God. Wow. I feel a little weird my stomach after that one. That's like- <laughs> there, there are guys that like to, like, clean a girl up after they've been came in by another yeah. dude. What is that called? I know a, a cream pie, but I don't know. Okay. Eating a cream pie? Cream pie dessert. Wait, Ooh. I just like, need you want to finish with that cream pie dessert? I need a rewind. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> so, like, I, I bang, I'm banging a chick. I bust. Yeah. Some other dudes like you. Her I real got, man. I, I got her you. real what? man comes over and cleans it up. The boyfriend who was doing, and then fucking doing, being cuckolded. He was like just chilling. Man? Yeah. He's just thankful that you, you fucked his bitch. And he's like, <laughs> and I'm I will, a little bitch, so I'm gonna eat I the will. cum. <laughs> And yeah, it's like Yo, a degrading thing. I mean, I don't, like, I don't shame, but that's like he's that underneath is interesting. You. I've never heard of that. Shit! Wow, you're missing out. I, that's fine with me on that. Would one. you be the dude? Actually, would no, you be the, would dude be the dude to come in the girl yeah, for another man? For sure. I'm not gonna get anything out of like him eating it. It's not like something for me. But if he wants to do that for him and he's gonna let me bang his girl and she's whatever, then yeah, why not? That's cool. Okay. Would you? <laughs> Would you, we're struggling so hard. Would you let Jeff Bezos not a new girl? Yeah. Would you eat his come out for, for $2 for, million? Dollars? It's probably got some super entrepreneurial magic in it, so I probably just would just because <laughs> that one's half price. No, so like no you can't eat it. You have to pretend to eat it and just shove it back in there and hope she gets pregnant Oh, that's with a good his call. smart baby. Secure the bag. Uh, Secure yeah, the bag. that's true. Okay, but then the baby's going to be white. And so I'm not going to really be able to claim it after it's born anyway. You could just be like, doctor said it's one of those rare genetic things, recessive traits. That's fair. 
Yeah. That's fair. I will do that, actually. I will fight for that kid. <laughs> You're like, that's mine. <laughs> and it comes <laughs> <laughs> completely different facial features. <laughs> it just pops out a clone and Jeff Bezos. You're like, it's my baby. It's just my baby. Yeah. I'll go on every show. Like, I'll do everything. <laughs> like, I will put on for that kid. I just, I feel like Jeff Bezos, this kid is going to be so ugly. He's going to have to perform like plastic surgery in utero. <laughs> like, it's just not... A cute man. You know, like, do you imagine that face on a baby? Are you allowed to discard of a baby if it's ugly? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, I, you know, this is a fear of mine. This is real. I fear every day that I'm going to be, like, so attached to my baby, and then it's going to come out of me, and I'm going to look at it, and I'm going to be like, no. It's ugly. <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> Take it, please. It's better for the child. No, it's that's better. fine. It's better for the child. But I think about that too. I'm like, I, would, yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to oh love it. Oh my God. I think you would because wow. you'd be no. so full of hormones. Like, just think of all the no. moms who have ugly babies and they're like, my here's the thing. So I feel beautiful. like I'm so that's capable true. of love and I'm like, of course I love my baby. Like, I don't, if anything, yeah. But like, but for some reason there's that part of me of like that fear and I don't know if that's just like a f- limiting no, fear where I like you. or I have this fear that like because maybe I didn't know certain parents that I'll be completely disconnected and it, I won't have that feeling of like motherhood but at the mm. same time I'm literally like I would be like the old super mom yeah I am mother or more. I would get rid of my baby because it was ugly I don't know there's a lot of but there's a <laughs> there's lot so of so many options when they tell you there's options for abortion they just don't they don't include that part. Yeah. No. Can you abort it a, if it's already out of the womb? We just have a side deal. Yeah. I just come in, swoop it are, up, are trash Are ugly bag. babies cheaper? <laughs> you Whoa. don't know? <laughs> I, well, I don't know. I've question. never looked at like adoption. babies. That's a good question. But what I think if that you'd need to like, what makes it ugly though? You know what I mean? And then you'd have to rate the It's all the subjective. Because yeah, then, then, oh, and then you would have like, there'd be like... Yeah, and then there'd be a lot of you put like even more racism and things like that into stuff. Yeah, because people may people may go the route of like they assume someone's <laughs> ugly. <What? laughs> it's so fucked. It's like you have a blood, like a black baby can just like, net seven, seven out of ten. Like that's the like the hottest that a black baby could possibly be is like a seven on the white scale. Yeah, it would definitely cause division. For sure. That'd be problematic. So we just get rid of it regardless. If it's ugly, just gone. Regardless of, the, of the nationality. Oh, damn. Abort all babies. <laughs> yeah, we're the we're human done. race is done. Humans are done now. We're the we're last done. generation. It's over. We're done. What if I was watching a show where the, somebody who is trying to like get like a... This is too much. No, we can't talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> all right. So we talk about abortion a lot. Babies... How do you feel about Roe v. Wade being overturned? <laughs> no, we we talk oh, about God. this on every episode. We're done. We're done. We're done. A new topic. What have you... Are you an Avatar fan? <gasps> like The Last Airbender? Both. Yeah. First, let's talk about The Last Airbender. Then we're going to get into the other Avatar. The blue people. Yeah, the blue people. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen Avatar The Last Airbender. Okay. What? Wow. I've told you this multiple times. Didn't I, didn't I put it on and make you watch it with me? No. Oh my goodness. You gotta binge it on Netflix. And then The Legend of Korra. I used to want to name right. my kid Korra. That's a cool name. I feel like that's a husky name. I thought she was so hot. And she ended up being lesbian. It's oh, okay, so she though. is so hot. She is. Yeah. She could get Avatar it. was so <laughs> cool though. What was like cool about it? I don't even know, but I was obsessed with it. Maybe just all the magic. And yeah. like everybody loves magic. For sure. Like being able to have powers and you're like, who would I be? And would I be against the Fire Nation? Of course. Right. I would or would I be like Fire Nation. Earth Nation? I would definitely not be Earth. I feel like I'd be water. <laughs> I'd be air. I'm an Aquarius. Yeah. So it's kind of just like the Zodiac, isn't it? Like you're pretty much. Yeah. Psh- no, exactly. Everything For has sure. to do with the fucking stars. And sun. my favorite episode was then when they were like on this island and it was really just like the back of a turtle. Yeah. And it was like moving That's island cool. and stuff. Yeah. That was a cool one. I dope. I really feel like we're just, I don't know. There probably is a whale somewhere carrying an island, right? No, there's, I wouldn't doubt it. Have you seen, there's a picture of the United States. I think it's like the Northeast to like the United States or something. Some country is like overlapping where it literally shapes out like a turtle and it looks like it's 
the the country is on the back of one giant turtle. That is so sad. I wonder what his name would be. Let me see. It. Let me see if I mm. could find that. Turtle what it, what would that turtle name be? Bob? Bob. It's such a shitty name for <laughs> such a majestic creature. Right. Bob. Wait, okay. That's bullshit. Bob. <laughs> or maybe it would be Bob and he's like, I'm fucking with all of you bitches. <laughs> Because you're just tiny people on my back. Okay. True. Ready? So Turtle Island is Native American folklore, which is, that episode definitely seemed like it was kind of based on that. For sure. But look at this. So it's the idea of like oh, an shit, island yeah. on a turtle. And then this is like the United oh, States, like Greenland. Turtle. You have oh, Mexico, oh. right? Okay. So yeah. hold on. I'm pretty sure. It's basically, okay, so Turtle Island is a name for the Earth, for Earth or North America used by some indigenous peoples in Canada and the United States, as well as by some indigenous right activists. The name is based on a common North American indigenous creation story and in some cultures synonymous with North America. It tells stories of a turtle that holds the world on its back. It's just, yeah. It's like Atlas, but a turtle. Yeah. So the moment when I heard about this, someone was just like talking about this on TikTok, someone like conspiracy TikTok, I immediately thought of Avatar The Last Airbender in that episode. And I was like, yo, they put this shit in plain sight in everything we watch. Yeah, absolutely. I totally believe it. It's also, there's only so many times a story can be told. We just tell the same story. Yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we take from other people and just like put everything together. Yeah. Which is cool. It's true shit. I always wonder, too, because they put that stuff in, like, shows and everything. And then is that why, like, the government just, like, is, treats indigenous people terrible? Because they're so, like, they're all knowing. Like, they have all that knowledge and that wisdom and that, like, connection with spirit. And, well, yeah. like, you know what I mean? That's what And that, do. like, scares them. Of course. And that's where all the conspiracy stuff comes. We also just want to think we're better and that they don't know the answers. Like, there was a whole indigenous practice in, like, California where you burn the bush that normally catches on fire before it catches on fire, like during fire season. And the U.S. just started implementing that. And they're like, we've been doing this for centuries, millennia, like, and now you're just catching on. Mm -hmm. mm. Imagine how much of the earth we could have saved if we just listened to people who've already been there. Yep. Right. And respected them. Absolutely. Why is David twitching? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys like... Kind of like I feel, I feel like I'm tripping. Like I'm, I, I'm oh, weirdly I'm like I'm in a different realm right now off this weed. This is not being high. This is like yeah, a different this feeling. This is a little different. I feel like I'm looking at you. We and got you're, some lay shit. We're all gonna. You die. guys are. There's you're like a so film over clear. Here. No, you're so clear. But then there's like a film in between. But I can see you through the film. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? The film's all up on you. What, do you need eye drops? <laughs> Maybe. Well, yeah, my eyes I don't are know. Really dry. I feel like I'm tripping balls. What time is it right now? We have another podcaster coming after us at 5:30. It's 5:25. Oh, shit. Protect our indigenous and native peoples. We got real serious. We got so serious and like so deep and yeah. so I just want to talk also about so blue not people. not serious, but like Avatar, the other Avatar <laughs> has sure. a new movie this uh summer coming out. Fuck yeah. Have I, you seen the trailer? I haven't. We're going to watch that I after. Haven't okay. Oh, we're what? putting that on immediately. We're I'm watching so the trailer. Excited. I oh, saw yeah. it in theaters and I was like, this is going to be so dope. It, does it have the same cast or is it like different people? I think it's the same, like similar, but it's like a, I think it's the people came in and took over their land and they're fighting back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I did see that actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is, I love Avatar. Uh, me too. It's I want to so trip dope. and watch it. Oh my God. Wow. That'd be like We'd have to see it twice. First, yeah. like regular. So like and nothing. Then, yeah. Freaks us out too much, you know, <laughs> so we know what to expect because I could get thrown into a really bad place, I feel Especially like. Especially if we're watching 3D. <clears throat> oh my God, we watched oh, Doctor no. Strange 3D. It was so Holy scary. Shit. And oh my God. it was insane. There's like a scene where these like souls come out and like attack the girl and all you see in the screen is a close up shot of here. So that's the whole movie screen and yeah. these faces, right? So then they're all coming off the movie screen at Ew. you and it's all oh, close God. up. It's all close up. Oh, shit. They like throw shit and it looks like it's going to hit you. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was intense. But I was oh, like, God. it made everything seem so real. Like I felt like I was in the rooms that they were walking in and 
I just haven't really seen any movies in 3D. No, I me like that was either. Super it was cool. Yeah. I want to watch it in like dope. IMAX, like the planetarium. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go see like shit. shark movies. <laughs> <laughs> We love that. Or the galaxy. I don't know. I know. That would like, be so the, cool. There's a new dinosaur one, I think, in IMAX. Yeah. And then Jurassic World has the, the second uh, one coming out. Oh, shit. This summer as well. So many Fuck good yeah. movies so this much. summer. So, so many much. fucking good movies. I'm so excited. I know. And I we movies. found out we have a movie theater like right next to our house. Like 20 minute walk. Can't beat that. You really can't. Right? That's. I, I go to the movies all the time. I'm like obsessed. I, I love the movies. I used to do it way more. And then COVID happened and I just like haven't gotten back into the habit. Mm -hmm. mm, I feel that. For sure. Well, it's been a pleasure. You know, we love having you on. We love, love hanging. We've hung out all week. We're going to hang out for the rest of the week. Hell yeah. It's um, been fun. Okay. I feel like by the time this airs, the Hayes Cup might be coming out. Probably, yeah, July 2nd, so. Yeah. Oh, shit. Dope. Fuck Do you have anything yeah. you want to say about it? It's going to be, I haven't even really started planning it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be dope, though, when it happens. This will probably air, and then it'll be a dope party, or it'll air, and then it'll just have been a dope party. Yeah. Okay. True. All right, well, <clears throat> where can everyone find you, Tyrese? At Tyrese Younger on everything. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. And you know where you can find us at Two Girls One Blunt. Look us up, bitches. We're on Google. Follow us on <laughs> Instagram. It's real fun on Instagram. It's the number two girls, number one blunt pod. Yeah, our boobies will be on there. Oh, love you. <laughs> Bye. You filthy fucking stoners. Happy Tuesday.